journal. Haven't left an entry in a while. Been kind of ill. Uh, I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice, which is why you're not getting the home narration. But I needed to get out. Haven't been out in like two weeks. And while I feel like I've made a slight mistake as far as my health goes, uh, I really like it here. Did I mention where we're at? The Schuylkill Environmental Center. I don't know what possessed me to drive out this way. It's only like 20 miles away from where I live, but it's the most annoying 20 miles to get here. Walked along the Schuylkill River Trail, where there is an entrance to this environmental center. It's made out of hills. But what made me want to come here, hang on, journal. What made me want to come here is, well, I always wanted to check out this environmental center, and they have some, some art pieces and some caches. Classic geocaching pencil. It's been a while. This installation provides a home for native plants to dramatically illustrate the impact of invasive plants on the forest ecosystem. Bell and his team of, or her, doesn't say, it just says Bell and team of Schuylkill Staff Center. Volunteers clear the area inside the home of all invasive plants. Created the enclosure to protect it from deer. Yes, I'm going to open this. Oh, stop. Information. Well, I know what you're saying, journal. I should put some rectal use only stickers in there, but I'm not. I'll save that for geocaches. Close the door behind me. Oh, I thought that was a bat or something. Okay. Well, that's lovely, I guess. A little somewhere to sit down. Ah. Nice. Ah. Ah. Oh, it's a little Twilight Zone-ish for some reason sitting in here. Uh, that'd be funny if somebody came along and opened the door. Do you mind? Oh, I can hear music again. I mean, I am a hop, skip, and a jump from a mega-populated center. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that one time I was uh, getting in line and uh, I was I was with the fam in a trendy uh, little little shopping center, little center, little tourist place. They got the radio station playing throughout the little the little area where all the the shops and the restaurants are. It's like they all tune into the same 80s nostalgia channel. It's all walking on sunshine, baby. You know what I'm saying? All I come from a land down under. I don't mind it. Reminds me of days gone by. But I turn the corner to go up to pay for my item. And right by the aisle, there's this all these Chotskys. I say Chotskys, but they're like these $200 glass figurines. And this little girl has a little hummingbird. And her mom's like, uh... If I said no the first time, I don't know why you think I'm not going to say no the second time and the third time. Uh, yeah, I've been on both ends of that stick. So I knew what was going on, but I walk right up and they stop talking because I walk up behind them because I'm in line. <laughs> and right then the music is, oh, when I get that feeling, I want sexual healing. And it was really uncomfortable staring at this woman and her daughter while that, that particular line rang through. But, well... <sighs> That's why I like to retreat into the woods, because I can't handle society's little foibles. <sighs> I'm getting delirious whenever you're near. Journal, I, I may have... Yeah. Well, Journal, I have to uh, accept that I perhaps have made a mistake, and I feel bad, and I'm going to head home. I, I'm... It was just a bird blind. I never see anything at bird blinds because I'm very loud. What I need is a a bird deaf. Not a bird blind. Oh. Lovely. Uh, yeah, so I 
think I'm just gonna go home and get more rest. Hmm. I might end up vomiting or pooping myself. Oh, is that a hummingbird? <laughs> what was I saying? Ah, yes, crapping myself. Had to stop and look at those neato flowers. Cool. Hopefully this is real and not part of the fever. <laughs>